today we have to discuss about the topic chemical incompatibility okay first of all we want to discuss what is the chemical incompatibility that is the definition of chemical incompatibility chemical incompatibilities are those preparations which lose their safety appearance and therapeutic purpose due to chemical properties of drugs in case of physical incompatibility it is due to physical properties of drugs and additives in case of chemical incompatibility it is due to chemical properties of drugs and additives like ph change double decomposition oxidation reduction acid base hydrolysis and complex formation and it will cause that is these chemical properties of drugs and additives will cause or leads to precipitation effervescence decomposition and color change or explosion okay this is the definition of chemical incompatibility chemical incompatibility is due to chemical interaction between the ingredients of prescription and will form a toxic or inactive product then there are various classifications of chemical incompatibility first one chemical incompatibility is divided into two first one is immediate incompatibility and delayed incompatibility immediate in case of immediate incompatibility the when the ingredients are combined together the chemical reaction takes place immediately okay while we are combining or mixing the ingredients the chemical reaction takes place immediately then in case of delayed incompatibility the chemical reactions occur at a slow rate okay slowly the chemical reaction occurs then next classification of chemical incompatibility is divided into two that is tolerated and adjusted tolerated means chemical interaction can be minimized by changing the order of mixing or mixing the solution in dilute forms but no alteration can be used okay uh, the chemical interaction or chemical incompatibility can be avoided or minimized by changing the order of mixing of ingredients or mixing the ingredients by converting it into Uh, dilute form okay that is avoid the avoid mixing concentrated form uh, we can di uh, we can use the diluted form of solution but no alteration that is no other ingredients or no other additives can be substituted then then ne next one is the adjusted chemical incompatibility it can this type of chemical incompatibility can be prevented or can be avoided by adding or substituting uh, one of reacting ingredients of prescription with another of equal therapeutic value in case of tolerated no alteration or uh, that is no substitution is substitution can be made in case of adjusted uh, we can avoid the chemical incompatibility by adding or substituting one of the reacting ingredients of the prescription with another one for example caffeine citrate can be substituted with a caffeine in sodium salicylate and a caffeine citrate mixture okay these are the second classification of in chemical incompatibility then third classification of chemical incompatibility are intentional and unintentional that is intentional means knowingly that is the intentional chemical incompatibility means the prescriber knowingly prescribes okay then unintentional means unintentional means uh, unknowingly so unintentional chemical incompatibility means prescriber unknowingly prescribes okay then next one is we know uh, by occurring the chemical reaction uh, there are precipitation effervescence 
like that occurs so uh, if precipitate yielding interactions occur generally reaction between strong solutions proceed at a faster rate that is if we are mixing two strong solutions or concentrated solution the reaction will take place at a faster rate and a form thick indiffusible precipitate okay thick indiffusible precipitate then if we are adding two dilute solutions then form light indiffu light diffusible precipitate in case of strong solution form thick indiffusible precipitate and in case of dilute solutions will form light diffusible precipitate so while comparing the thick indiffusible precipitate light diffusible precipitate is more better we can dissolve by using any other solvent so uh, we should add the reacting substances in diluted form okay we we can mix the substances which are which are in diluted form to avoid the most problem precipitate formation then in case of dispensing prescription yielding precipitate there are two methods for adopting to avoid the precipitation method a and method b first one method a it is used when very small quantity of diffusible precipitates are formed okay it is used when diffusible precipitates are formed in this case divide the vehicle divide the whole vehicle into two equal portions then add one reacting substance into one half portion and other reacting substance into another half portion then mix these two portions uh, slowly one to another with a rapid stirring okay first of all divide the vehicle into two equal portions then add one reacting substance into one half and add other reacting substance into another half then mix these two solutions slowly by uh, adding one portion to another with a rapid stirring okay then next one is the method b this method is used when large quantity of indiffusible precipitate is formed this method is used while indiffusible precipitate is formed in this case also uh, take vehicle and it is divided into two equal portions then dissolve one of the reacting substance in one half portion then weigh accurate amount of the compound tracan powder that is if you want to prepare 100 ml of solution or preparation weigh 2 gram of the tracan powder okay that is 2 gram per 100 ml of preparation then by using the second half portion of the vehicle we can produce a mu uh, compound tracan mucilage in a mortar by using a pestle okay first uh, in the first half portion of vehicle uh, we can add the reacting substance and then next half of, half portion of the vehicle we can make a dragon mucilage in a mortar by using a pestle then then to this second portion that is to this dragon mucilage portion add other reacting substance okay then mix these two portions by slowly adding one portion to other by rapid stirring okay uh, in method a there is no need of adding compound track and powder and making a smooth mucilage in case of method b uh, we have to add uh, or we have to make a mucilage of compound track and powder okay these are the difference between method A and method B. Then these are about the chemical incompatibility. Then 
the remaining of the chemical incompatibility we can discuss in later okay that's all